Hi, I'm Mark from Zebra BI and today I'll present to you the latest release of Zebra BI visuals, namely version 5.1. As ease of use is one of the key pillars of actionable reporting, we've decided that this release is going to be all about quality and user experience improvements. So, the most important features that we added are the displaying of forecast data and segmented charts has been vastly improved. We've added the option to highlight individual small multiple series. We've added the ability for you to format totals and subtotals. And we've also added a whole new formula manager for you to better govern your custom formulas. So let's jump into the next slide to see the most important productivity features. So first, let me show you one of the most requested features with this release. And this was actually the display of forecast data, even when actual data becomes available. So if we take a look at the screen now, we have our bar chart displaying the trends from January to December. But as we are currently in starting of October, we have some of our actual data. And this automatically hides the forecasts from the visual. But now you have this ability to just with one click change the forecasts in the chart settings and toggle the show all forecast data and you get all the forecasts displayed. So hopefully this will improve your productivity with segmented charts. To make small multiples even better, we've added a highlight option for a single small multiple series. So if we now take a look at the screen, and right click on a title of a small multiple, we can now highlight the entire series. And if we now switch to a stack chart view, you'll see that this highlight remains consistent. And if we, if we just add another highlight here and move back, you'll see now that both series are highlighted. This makes the small multiples even more flexible. As you know, the display of large variances can sometimes clutter your data labels. But as I will now show you on the screen, if you go to the format pane and under the data labels, you will now find a suppress large relative variance toggle. So if we just toggle this on, we immediately make our uh, Zebra BI tables more clear and readable. In Zebra BI tables, you can highlight almost any column. But to improve the user experience, we've added the options to highlight also the total and subtotal columns as well. So if we take a look at the screen, this is really easy to do. As you would do with any other column in Zebra BI tables, you can simply click on the settings and change now the background fill to maybe a light gray. And on a different total, we can go and change the border to a black color. So this should really allow you to pinpoint your totals data. Custom row calculations are one of the really advanced features of Zebra BI tables. But working with multiple such formulas can be a problem. So to make your life easier with managing this, we've created a formula manager. So let's take a look at how to use it. You can access the formula manager by right clicking on any of the rows and clicking on add formula. This will then open up the formula editor and now you have this new button of manage formulas. And if we click on it, we get all of the formulas listed one below the each other. So if we now select a few of those, we can then format them all at the same time or delete them. But for example, if we accidentally deleted an, uh, an unnecessary uh, measure, we can simply undo and we want to uh, keep maybe the gross margin percentage. So we will just delete the other two percentage measures and we click, hit confirm, exit the formula editor and voila, we have all of our calculations really managed in our appropriate way. So hopefully this makes it easier for you to work with the formulas. The top end plus others feature is a really cool and productive feature of Zebra BI, but we have made it even more interactive and actionable. Let's take a look. So as you're familiar in the tables, now we have also in the charts, the 
decrease and increase buttons on the visual itself. So if I now increase or decrease, I can do it on the visual. And this goes for the vertical waterfall chart as for the horizontal waterfall chart. But apart from that, I can also now highlight the others and it will cross filter the rest of my data, which makes your data even more insightful. In this video, I have shown you the most important features of this release. For more information, please go to our website, zebrabi.com, where you will find the change log, the improvements, the bug fixes, and also make sure to follow our social media channels and webinars, and see you on the next release.